What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Okay, so first of all what you're going to do is head down to this link which will be in the description. And as you can see, you can see it says right there it is for them devices right here. And we are going to change it to Windows 10. And what you want to do is go down here, you'll have to wait like 10 seconds and then this should show up. And then just go ahead and click it and it will begin to download. Okay, so once it has done, just go and find where you did save it to. Mine's right here. And what you want to do, you will need WinRAR or WinZip. I recommend WinRAR. Uh, link to that will be in the description how to download it. So just go ahead and double click it. Open it up. And just X out of that. And what you want to do is go to this one right here. The one that says the file folder type is application. So just go ahead and double click that. And then just go ahead and click yes. And now this is a really good thing. You can see it says system files transformation. And it's even got here, enable with repair check-in. So if anything goes wrong, it's going to repair it straight away without even notifying you. And now we've got system font, so you can pick whatever font you would like. I'll stick to this one. I've never tried the others. And then this one right here, you can change it to one of the bottom two. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Win Metro. And then what you got to do is just go ahead and click install. Okay, so once that is done, what you have to do, just wait. Okay, so as you can see here, the interface has sort of changed, but as you can see, it says the system must be restarted to complete the installation. So right now I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, and I'll be back to you once I've restarted. Okay, so you can see the computer has just restarted, and we've even got the new UI for the lock screen. Okay, so it's loaded back up and I'm going to go back to the screen recorder. Okay, so I just logged back on and this has come straight away. As you can see here, we got a little tutorial on what is actually here. So as you can see here, provide thumbnails for calendars, weather, news, finance, photos, etc. Then here we got to click to view image and your account information and stuff like that. So you can log off, sleep, restart and shut down your options here. And yeah, and you've also got this here, you click next. And then, yeah, you've got all this, can't be able to read all that out. And then just go ahead and click OK. And you are now on the Windows 10. You can see here we've got your desktop. We've got the weather. And these all work. You can see here if I click on, uh, what was that? I think it was Internet Explorer. I've clicked on that and it's open up Chrome. Okay. It's open up Chrome. Probably because of my default browser. So whatever your default browser is, it will open that up. And if we just go back to it, if I know how to. Okay, maybe not. But this is the new start menu right here. This, if this is where your icon is right here, your profile, and then you can add your own icons here, you can see right here, right click to add your tile, and then you can just go ahead and add it in. Now I'm not going to give you a full tutorial on how to use this, because you'll figure it out, it's pretty straightforward, but yeah, that is how you change it to Windows 10. So yeah, that is it for this video, it's very simple as you've just seen, now if you'd like to know how to uninstall it, then a link to a video in the description which will show you how to uninstall it. And just another quick thing, you can see if we open up folders, they have all changed as well with the interface up here. So yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily, check out my FIFA channel where I post daily, and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.